Welcome to an Arix fly tying tutorial. My name is Martin Hansen and uh, I will be your host for this uh, tutorial today. The fly we will be tying is uh, this little yellow one here. Uh, it's a perch fly, but uh, you can of course use it for bass or uh, whatever uh, other predatorial fish that would feed on something like this. Um, it's called the sea balm because I've uh, I kind of kind of felt like it looked like uh, a lemon or a, or a lime. So sea balm it is. Let's get on with the tying. So the hook in the vise is the trout predator 610 or TP 610 in a size two which is not all too big for uh, for the mouth of a perch at least. Uh, slightly heavier wire so the fly will uh, get down in the water a little bit faster um, depending on on what kind of line you fish. Um, most of the time I fish intermediate or sink one lines so I like to use a, a hook with a slightly thicker wire for, uh, for some Thing like this so it will get down in the water a little bit faster okay so get the thread back to the hook bent there almost between the the barb and the hook point then I want to tie in a small bunch of bucktail A little bunch there. And then I kind of kind of want to pull out the longest ones and the shortest hairs as well, so that I'm left with a really thin bunch of bucktail here. This is will uh, act as support for the uh, sunker wing we will be tying onto this one so you don't need a whole lot just enough to lift up that tail to uh, keep it from tangling so tie that in on top of the hook there with a few turns make sure it sits on top of the hook and then just what I like to do is to tie this in all the way up the shank here. Just to uh, give the fly an even body and also Bucktail has some air in it, and by tying it in on top of the hook like this, it will also help uh, to keel the fly in the water so it will stay upright and not flip over on the side or anything like that. So make sure that sits. It's looking good. So what I have here is a piece of uh, rabbit sunker. Um, these are five millimeter pre-cut strips. Uh, you can of course cut your own uh, sunker wings. I like these pre-cut ones. Uh, and I want to taper it in the end here. Let me hold it down here so you can see it. I want to taper this end which is a straight cut at this point. And how to do that is to take your scissors, cut kind of like a point into the leather strip underneath these hairs. That will help taper the fly really nice. So 
to find out where you want to tie in this sanka strip you kind of want to divide the hairs like this sometimes you can moisten your fingers a little bit and pull these hairs to the side like this this makes it a lot more easy to tie in this strip a few turns in there two or three of uh, three just to uh, have a look how things are setting when you're satisfied just get a few more turns in there that flip this back over on itself get a few turns in front of that as well and that's looking pretty decent now you can see it here that the bucktail will act as support for for this tail and help it to stand out like this so it won't tangle around the hook all too much when you throw it Fold this back over on itself so it's out of the way. Make a dubbing loop. Get that all the way back to the tie in point there of the sunker wing. Get the thread up to around the hook eye here. Remember to leave uh, four or five millimeters of space up here for uh, a little bit of dubbing afterwards for uh, I kind of want to make a little dubbing head so don't make it too tight up here let's get a dubbing twister into the loop here and the dubbing I will be using for this one is Senio's laser dub which is uh, really cool materials. It is pretty long, so I, what I like to do, um, especially on smaller flies, is to align it like this and then just cut it in half, which will give you not only double the amount, but also uh, shorter fibers. Get that into the loop here. And with this fly you can't almost can't put in too much because we will be brushing it out afterwards. To kind of make a little belly on the fly. I need a little bit more, so same thing. Align the the fibers, cut them in half, and kind of align them like this by pulling them like that and placing it back on top of each other and that will align the, the fibers really nice. Get that into the loop, spin that up. Then get out your dubbing needle or a pair of scissors. Will work just fine as well. And then you kind of want to just brush out any trapped fibers. that get a material clamp on there and then you just want to 
start working your way up the hook shank with this. Touching turns. And also what you can do is pull these hairs back for every turn. Just make it a little bit easier to tease out the stubbing along the way. Now the fly looks like a mess at this point, but we will get that under control in just a minute. Just keep working our way up the shank. Remember, like I said, leave a little bit of room up here in front for that dubbing head, but also this songer strip is quite thick, so it will um, it will also take up a lot of space in front here where the hook eye is. Sure that's nice and tight. Then you want to brush out the dubbing here, but only on the top side of the fly. And you kind of want to comb it out on both sides. So comb it over from the top and out to one side. Same thing on the other side, like that, and then just kind of pull that downwards like that so the fly will be completely flat on top because this is where the sunker wing will be lying. So grab that piece of leather there and really pull that as tight as you dare. That's right back here. Sorry about that. So pull it. Pull the hairs back like this. Make a loose turn or two on top of that before you pull it tight. And then you kind of want to just Push your thumb into that and roll it a little bit out on the sides. What that will give you is a fly going from thin in the back here and becoming slightly thicker towards the head here. So you will get that nice teardrop taper on your fly. When you're satisfied. Let's get a few more turns in there and then cut off this excess sunger strip here. Just like that. of that to really make it nice and secure. There we go. Oops. I'm using a pretty slippery thread here. Like that. Now for the head, same dubbing from Zenios. Uh, remember to have a look down in the video description where you will find the material list and uh, links to uh, the Eric's homepage and stuff like that. Same thing, align the fibers. 
cut them, them in half. And line them again. Like this. And now you kind of want to fluff this up a little bit so you have a, a bunch looking kind of like this. And push that around the hook just very lightly. And then make two loose turns around that. And then just slowly pull that tight. And what that will do, it is it, it will um, kind of help this stubbing to distribute itself around the hook. And then just fold this back over on itself. And make a few turns in front of that. Kind of build a little thread dam. Don't tie on top of it, just tie directly in front of it and make a small thread dam. And now you have a really nice dubbing head on the fly. So let's get a little finish on this. And that's one. Two. Cut off your thread. You don't need that anymore. Now just brush out this fly a little bit. Have a look how things are setting. So you can just pull it up like this, pull it out with your fingers. So you could basically fish this fly at this point, uh, but I want to uh, make it a little bit cooler to look at with a pair of eyes. And the way I like to uh, glue in my eyes is to take some UV resin. Put a drop on my finger like that. You can also use your uh, dubbing needle or something else if you don't want to use your fingers. And then just dab that on the front part of the fly here. And into the dubbing just a little bit. Don't soak it all too much. Just Just a tiny bit on the front here and what that will do is it will um, you can really easily see it here it will get any stray hairs or dubbing fibers if you like under control and um, it really allows you to determine the head shape before you uh, even glue in the eye so that's how I like to do it when you're satisfied with the shape, just hit that with your lamp. Like that. And now I want kind of a tall head and flat, if you look at it from the sides, I, I want it flat on the sides and tall on the top 
because that will give the fly kind of like a, a jerking motion if you strip it. Uh, and on the on the stop, it will kind of shoot to the sides. So let's get an eye on this side here. Put a drop of UV resin on there. Place the eye on top of that. Have a look. Like that. Just cure that with your, your lamp. Same thing for the other side. Put a drop on there. Press the eye on. Just align these eyes. Roughly. Go. Cure that. Now this is obviously not enough resin to uh, keep these eyes on if a fish would attack this so I will be giving it one last layer here just around make sure to cover the eye and then just work your way around get some to the head here A little bit on the tying thread in the front so that won't be coming undone. like that so here you have one finished perch fly called the sea bomb thanks for watching please remember to subscribe to the Arix uh, YouTube channel and uh, hit the bell so you get notified whenever they upload new videos um, thanks for watching me tie this one um, hopefully I uh, We'll get to make a few more of these for uh, for the guys over at Eric's. But for now, thanks for watching and until next time.